Hi, I recently picked up a VR haptic vest and decided to create this video to show you guys how to set it up for VR chat. So VR chat doesn't officially support the haptic vest. I'm assuming they're going to add official support later on down the road, but somebody did create a software that does allow you to use it unofficially and it does work pretty good with the software. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to set up the software. So what you want to do is you want to go on <clears throat> be haptics main website and I'll have the link in the description and um, I have this vest right here the tactic they do sell the face shield and the arm and hands and feet I'm not sure if they support these ones but I know these ones up here they do support with the software but um yeah I only have the vest for now so if you have the vest or any of these, what you're going to want to do to set it up is go to support, go to downloads, then download it. You want to click keep if it prompts you that little message. And then you want to open it, click more info, run anyway. Click yes. Next, next. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it just going to click cancel just go through that whole install and after that you're going to want to go to this website right here and I'll have the link in the description and this guy created the software that allows you to use it for VR chat only thing is is it's in another language so setting it up is kind of difficult so this is why I'm making the video so you have to purchase a subscription, which I believe it came to about five US dollars. And once you do that, it'll give you access to his download link and to his instructions, which the instructions are in another language. But um, yeah, so you're going to want to download <clears throat> the dot zip. And while that's downloading, you could go ahead and load the Be Haptics Player app, which I have opened already. So you're going to want to take this. You're going to want to drag it anywhere to unzip it or extract it. I already have it there, so I'm not going to replace some. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pair your vest. Mine's already paired. You want to turn on the, um, there's a button on the back of the vest. You, I believe you hold it until it starts blinking blue then you click there if you right click on the vest here it'll have a pair button and once it's paired you will have like a green notification that says connected on the bottom so once that's paired you're gonna want to open up the folder you extracted and this is the app right here but you're gonna want to create a shortcut and you're going to have to modify the shortcut. So I'm going to open up his instructions and scroll to the very bottom. Okay. I'm going to want to copy this right here. Now you're going to right click on the shortcut, click properties. Go to target here. Go to the very beginning of it. You want to control V or right click and click paste and then put a space between these. Apply. Okay. And I've already done it once there, but figured to show you guys how to do it again. So what that pretty much does is I believe it basically has the program run on another core on your processor. So it doesn't bog down VR chat while it's running. So once you do that, you could go ahead and open the shortcut, which will launch the program. <clears throat> now what you're going to want to do is open Steam and we'll control and click play. So what we're going to want to do is go to screen resolution and you're going to want to click 1920 by 1080. And I don't have it under windowed. Um, it might work on windowed. I haven't tried it. 
I just have it on full screen on to my second monitor. So you're going to want to click play on that. And VR chat will load up here. The next thing you're going to want to do is click the VRC haptics program on the bottom bar. Click change application. You're going to want to find VR chat, which is right here. Now I'll go ahead and toss my headset on. Grab my controllers really quick. And I'll go ahead and enable VR view so you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay. So this is the avatar that the creator of the software has uploaded. It has a visualizer so when people touch you, you could actually see where they're touching you at and they could see where they're touching you at. If you're loaded in with this, the avatar basically adds a little black square on the top left of your screen. And basically the soft software could read the black square. So whenever you touch the front or the back of the avatar, it'll have like a red portion that lights up on the square. That's pretty much how the software knows when you're being touched and then it sends it to the vest. So what you're going to want to do from here is let me go back on my desktop, click the, the program here and this is the default position and you could bring it closer and pretty much what this will do is it won't pick up other stuff in the world and have like, I guess, fake triggers to the vibration. So, you could play with the clipping here. You could bring in a little bit tighter. So now, if I go up to, you guys could probably hear this on the vest. If I go up to like a wall or the mirror, you could hear the vest vibrate. So, I'll go ahead and launch the world that the guy created, which has some guns and other stuff that you could hit the vest with. So let me find that. Okay. So there's a gun right here that I'll pick up. I'll go on to the bed here. Now if I shoot the vest, I could feel that go down the vest. It's pretty cool. It feels very realistic. And in the VR haptic software, you can change the sensitivity of the vibration strength. So I recommend putting maybe 15 or 20%. You could adjust it to what you think is best, but I think a lower vibration feels more realistic compared to like, I don't know, 50 or 100%. Right now it's at 30%. If I turn up to 50 or 100, it gets pretty loud. <laughs> I could go ahead and show you guys that. Let me just crank it up really quick. Okay, I have it at 100. Um, I think I dropped the gun, yeah. It'll probably sound like I'm farting <laughs> with the vibration. You can tell how much powerful the vibration becomes. It's kind of too much in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm going to drop that back down. Maybe 32% and I'll grab something else like, oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> You can see how it vibrates. Now he does have other avatars you could use with the visualizer. And there's also ones that are hidden. And I'll go ahead and click the hidden one just to show you guys that it does still work even though you can't see it. So I'll grab this thing again. 
You can probably hear that in the mic. And it still works, even though it's hidden. So, me personally, I'll be running the hidden one on my main avatar. But um, if you want to like go in public and have people see them touching you, then you could run the visible one. So from here, pretty much anything that touches you will get the vest to vibrate. So like any walls or like, I could go to a public and show you guys. Let's go to a pug. Okay, now let me find a group of people and I could walk through them. I'll turn the vibration up so you guys could actually hear it a bit better. Walk into these people over here. Can you actually see my avatar? Now it's vibrating as I'm walking into them. So anything that collides with you will make it vibrate. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to exit VR. There is a way to add it to your main avatar. I could quickly show you how to do that. Let me pull my headset off and my controllers. Okay, so you're going to want to open up Unity and that folder we extracted. You There is a Unity package in that and basically you just drag it into Unity, import it. Okay, so there's an avatar here that I have. Just drag it in here. Let me fix all these really quick so you guys can see it a bit better. Okay. So you're going to want to open up the folder here. BRC haptics, and I believe it, yeah. So you want to open up BRC Haptics, Prefabs. You could either pick Visualized, which <clears throat> you could add the Visualized Vest to your avatar, the one where you could see, or people could see when they touch you. And you could rescale this up a bit. I'm not going to take my time rescaling it right now because I'm not going to use this one. But, um... There should also be a way, yeah, blend shapes right here. So if you have like a female avatar, you could have boobs come out a bit like that. And you could set it to however much you want it to come out. But um, yeah, that's the visualized one. And for this avatar, I will use the hidden one. So you're going to want to find, yeah, the vest one right here. Oops. Okay. So I'm going to drag this up. Let me do side view here. Now I still have to play with the adjustment a bit. This isn't my main one. I have a different project folder, but this is just a cleaner one to like help you guys understand. So you're going to want to take the front one here. Pull it out and also the back. This has a backpack on this avatar, but um, I wouldn't run a backpack on the avatar you want this on. But I'll go ahead and place it anyways there. You want to 
close to your back, I believe. You could change, maybe roll it like that. So for the front, you could scale it. Oops. I'm gonna click camera front. You could make it a bit bigger but you just want to position it on your avatar. And I believe all you, you could just connect it to, this is the vest here, you want to drag it to spine. I believe that's the best spot or maybe chest. And once you do that, you want to go to tools here, your see haptics helper. And you're going to want to drag the avatar right here. Then also the vest, drag under vest. And if you don't have the arms or the head one, just leave it as none, just don't touch it at all. But if you do, you just basically drag them onto your avatar and position them. And then you drag them here and then you click set up. You just click it once and then it will set the avatar up for it. I'm not gonna click set up cause my avatar is set up for it already. So once you do that, you just upload your avatar and once you load into your avatar, it should all work out for you. Now that's pretty much it. Um, it's fairly easy. It probably sounds a bit complicated, but it's a really easy process. You just want to make sure you get this clip positioning correct, because when you put it on your own avatar, it will be a little different than what my settings are. So you just want to play with that a bit and that is about it for the install. If you guys have any questions, definitely leave a comment or you can message me. I'll leave my Discord in the description. I hope this helped you guys and um, I'll probably have another video up soon. Thanks.